What's going on, guinea pig fam? So I got little Jack Jack here. And uh, here is the guinea pig house that I have just recently built. So we've been testing the waters, trying to get everyone to play nice. And so far, three out of the four have decided they want to be friends. But this little cute guy, he doesn't play so well with others. We came up with a solution because we really want to utilize this entire little you know pen that we built. So I have my leftover two feet from the sheet of plywood that I had cut down. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach some brackets to the bottom side of this and add some more legs to that. And we are going to extend this out so we can take this divider out. And then Jack Jack here is going to have his own little play pen. And then Gus Gus, Bruno, and Bruce can all hang out together in this big pen. So now it's going to be a full eight foot in length, four foot in width. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to extend this and make a separate little play land for Jack Jack here. So let's get started. Basically, I'm going to take these mending braces and I'm going to attach these on the bottom side of our already made guinea pig pen so that they'll be sticking out like a little shelf so that I can place this right on top and then I'll screw it from underneath. And I'm going to show you from this side where I'm going to put the braces instead of trying to stick the table or the camera underneath the table and show you there. I'll attach it like this. That way this part is hanging over the edge. And then when I go to set this on top of it, it'll have a nice flush spot like this, like this, and like this. And then I can connect this on top. And I'm going to put two more legs on the back side here, just as we did on the original table. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go put these on. Just like on the other one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down some feet. The nice thing is this is only a two by four. It's much easier than dealing with that four by six sheet of plywood that I had. So I only need to put legs on one side and then on this side, it's going to connect to the brackets that I just put down. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my pencil and uh, my square, wherever it may be. I haven't cleaned up yet. Oop, there it is. And we're going to put these four inches in, four inches over, just like I did up there, so that it looks nice and clean. I have my leg mounts here and here. And just so that I don't confuse myself, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a line through this whole thing because I don't need to put any glass on this side because it's going to be butt up and it's already going to have the glass. So I just basically kind of outline, you know, where my corners and squares are going to be for the sides that I do want it to be on. That way I can just go ahead and mount that up and I don't have it on the wrong side because then I'd be like, Argh. start again, remount everything or take off the legs and just redo the legs, but I don't want to do any of that. So I marked off the lines and now what we're going to do is the same thing. I'm going to cut down some, where's it at? Right here. I'm going to cut down some two by three backers for the walls. And then I have some leftover two by twos. So we're going to, again, we're going to cut these, we're going to cut these and we're going to go all the way around. Now I've been debating, if I just do an insert and do a second post here, or do I take off the posts upstairs and re-slot them? And I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? Well, let's think about it as we go. All right, so I'm gonna get the saws out and get ready to start cutting. All right, to keep things simple, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use 
the old posts that are on the current guinea pig. So I'm only going to add three posts here and then the support blocks. So I'm going to go ahead. This one's already cut to size. I didn't use it on the last project. I'm just going to use it as reference. We're going to scale this. And to keep it super simple, I'm just going to cut it on the table saw and then we're going to rip down the two by three pieces. So let's do that. Here I have everything kind of test laid out. It goes a lot easier the second time once you know what you're doing. So that's kind of nice. What I'm going to do quickly is uh, just like before, I'm kind of going to see which side looks the nicest and uh, flip that up and I'm going to label everything. So there's A, B, here is C, this one will be D, and then this side looks nicer. We'll make this side E, F, and G. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to label, I'm going to put arrows in so I know that that's facing inwards. This is facing inwards, facing inwards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now I got a lot of, you know, pieces that are all bashed up uh, from the saw. So I'm just going to take my sander again and we're just going to smooth out all of these cut pieces. And I'm actually just going to smooth out the whole thing. Uh, last time I waited until I had it all installed, but I'm just going to run over the whole thing real quick with sandpaper and get ready so that when I put the oil down, it's nice and smooth. So I'll sand the top sand all the pieces, and uh, then we'll screw it all together. Oh no, I still gotta cut all the, all the slots and everything. So, I don't know, we got a lot to go, but here we go. I got it all lined out, and I started putting in my lines. I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna you know throw this through the table saw, put our grooves through it, so that our plexiglass will sit and do that to all the pieces. Then we'll oil it down, screw them down. I got to put the uh, pan liner in and we'll go upstairs and see how it's, how it's holding up. I'll also have to take the two pieces off from downstairs or from up on the guinea pig, bring them down here and add a third slot to those. But I'm going to go ahead, start slotting these out. I got everything all cut down, slotted. So I got my clamps out. I got my drill bit with countersink. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna clamp these down. And then uh, we're using uh, two and a half inch construction screws. We're gonna get these all set into place and go from there, so. We have our oil on there. Now I've got this uh, shower pan liner again. Uh, this one's really long because this is just a small project. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple this down to the back and then I'm going to cut it and I'm going to leave some so that I can lift that up on the other side when we do the, uh, when we connect it. But I'm going to start back here, right here in the center. I'm going to try my best to get this lined up and then we're just going to staple it down. We got our piece upstairs, flip this over and we're going to put the legs on quick. And now we'll take it over and we're going to set it on top of those brackets. I should honestly wait until my wife gets home give me a hand with this, but I'm a guy. So we're just gonna try it anyways. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm underneath the table. All I have to do is, oh yeah. 
and try to align it. Look at that. I got this all bolted in. So now I just need to get the corners cut, put some staples in there, and then uh, cut this pad lining down. So I'm just gonna really quickly I keep forgetting to turn that on. <laughs> Just going to quickly throw a staple right in the center one. And then I'm going to try to do this in pieces. Okay, let's take these, uh, let's take these apart. Let's see how we did. Now we can take this center part out, leave the three guineas to themselves. And now Jack-Jack will have his own two foot by four foot square. And the other three can play in a six foot by four foot square. And this is pretty exciting. So we're gonna go ahead, put everything together and then we'll see what happens. Here it is, the finished guinea pig house. So, we still put up this small gate for right now because we need to get Gus Gus um, a little more acclimated with uh, Bruno and uh, Bruce. But now we got Jack Jack in his own little two foot by four foot spot. Hey bud. And these guys are having fun running around. They got so much more room. And then eventually we'll take this guy out and then these three will all have a full six foot area to run around. But man, it's just a lot of fun. These guys make the craziest sounds, squeaky as all can be. But getting them out from the metal cages into the first progression into this, you can totally tell the difference with uh, how they've been and how they're acting. And so it's pretty cool. They're uh, a lot more active now, a lot more fun. So hopefully someday maybe he'll stop being a jerk and we can put them all together. But for now, this is working out awesome. So any questions on it, just let me know. But this is the new guinea pig house that I, I built for, for Jack Jack, Gus Gus, Bruce, and Bruno. So thanks for watching.